is how to make a chain stitch. I have my crochet hook here and I have the cut end of my yarn and then the working end of my yarn that's still attached to the yarn, the yarn ball or skein itself. I'm going to start by making a slip knot on my hook, which is actually just essentially the same as making a chain. I'm going to put the yarn behind my hook, wrap the cut end around, and just hold onto that in my fingers here. And then I'm going to take the working end of the yarn, I'm going to wrap it behind my crochet hook, then pinch this little crossover I made a moment ago, and take that yarn that I wrapped around my crochet hook and pull it through the loop, and that will make a slip knot when I pull the cut end of the yarn. Now from here we're going to keep making chains. So all you do to make a chain is you do a yarn over, which is wrapping the yarn behind the hook, over top, and then in front, and then you pull that through by pinching the part of your crochet that you've already worked, and then you pull the yarn over through the loop. So again, you wrap the yarn behind, over top, and then in front of the hook, and then you pull that yarn over through the loop that's already on your hook. Loop on my hook, take the yarn behind over top in front of the crochet hook, that's a yarn over, and then pull that yarn over through the loop. Okay, eventually your, your pinch is going to get too far away to be able to really hold on to things and you're just going to want to move your pinch up a little higher again. Mm -hmm. 